we will study the surface area of a solid figure. Uh, napag-aralan na natin nung uh, quarter 3, week 1, yung mga tinatawag nating solid figures. No? Ngayon, ano ba yung tinatawag na surface area? Halimbawa, uh, birthday na uh, kaibigan mo, special friend, magbibigay ka sa kanya ng uh, regalo. Of course, igi-gift wrap mo siya. No? Ngayon, gano'ng kalaking wrapper o gift wrapper ang bibilin mo na hindi naman so sobra para hindi maaksaya. Yung halos sakto lang sa babalutan mo. Okay, example. Let us visualize what is the so-called surface area. O alimbawa, ito yung gift wrapper. No? The measure of this side is, halimbawa, assuming, 2 feet. At yung isang side, no? yung haba niya, Yung haba niya ay 2.5 feet. Ito yon. Yung kabila, 2 feet. Now, what is the surface area of this gift wrapper? So, madali lang, ano? Find the area of a rectangle. Length times width. The length is 2.5 feet and the width is 2 feet. So, 2.5 times 2 is equal to 5 square feet. And that is the surface area of this gift wrapper. O ngayon, pumunta na tayo sa solid figure. Marami tayong tinatawag na solid figures, no? Ipopost ko na lang yung link sa ibaba sa description box para maaral nyo kung ano yung, again, yung mga solid figures. Here is an example of a solid figure. This is a rectangular solid or rectangular prism, no? Wherein the height of this rectangular prism is 4 cm at yung haba niya ay 2 cm. Yung thickness naman niya ay 1 cm. Halimbawa, no? Ito ang babalutan mo ng gift wrapper. Parang kahirap yata, ano? Kung gano'ng kalaki na sukat na gift wrapper ang dapat mong bilhin para walang maaksaya. Ngayon, let us visualize the surface area of this rectangular prism. Ngayon, ipuka natin. Yan. O ngayon, nakita nyo na. Yan ang surface area na babalutan natin. No? Ngayon, gano'ng kalaking gift wrapper ang ating bibilin? Makikita nyo rin, ipopost ko dyan sa gawing kanan ng screen nyo. No? Para makita nyo how to compute the surface area of this rectangular prism. Ngayon, kung ibabalik natin kanina, yan. This is a face of the triangle or the rectangular prism. Yung isang face na yan, ang tawag natin dyan ay lateral face. Ngayon, kung hahanapin natin ang area ng lateral face na to is 4 times 2 is 8, centimeter times centimeter is square centimeter. So, the area of this lateral face is 8 square centimeter. Ibuka ulit natin para makita natin yung total surface area. If this side or lateral face, the lateral area is 8 square centimeter, this is also 8 square centimeter. No? Kasi parehas siya. Ngayon, itong isa na to, the lateral face, ang lateral area niya ay 4 times 1, length a uh, length times width 4 times 1 is 4 square centimeter kung ito ay 8 square centimeter, ito ay 4 square centimeter ito, this one this face is another 8 square centimeter and this one is also 4 square centimeter this face, because 
the measure of this side is 1 cm and the height is 4 cm. 4 times 1 is equal to 4. So, the surface area of this lateral face and the other one is 8 plus 8, 16 square centimeters. 16 na siya. And this one is 4 square centimeter. 16 plus 4, 20. And this is another 4 square centimeters. Oh, 1 no? times 4 is 4 square centimeters. 4 or oh, 8 plus 8, 16 plus 4, 20 plus 4 is 24. Ngayon, ito pang bases. Balik natin. O diba, this is the base of this rectangular prism. And this is another base. There are two bases. O ang sukat nito ay 1. And this is 2. No? 2 times 1. The area of this face is 2 square centimeter. And this is also 2 square centimeter. Bali ito, 2 plus 2 ay 4 square centimeters. O ilan lahat? Di ba 28? 8 plus 8, 16 plus 4, 20 plus another 4, 24 plus 2, 26 another 2, 28. Therefore, the surface area of this figure is 28 square centimeters. Now, here is the formula in finding the surface area of a rectangular prism. SA stands for surface area. LA stands for lateral area. Plus 2B and B stands for base. Ngayon, yung LA, papano paghanap ng lateral area, it is equal to P times H, where P is the perimeter of the base. O ngayon, papano natin i-apply yan? No? Ngayon, tingnan natin. Balikan natin yung kanina. Hanapin muna natin ang lateral area. No? Ang lateral area ay P times H or perimeter of the base times height. O di ba itong rectangular prism natin, ito ang tinatawag nating bases, no? Ito ito ang mga bases niya. Ngayon, ang lateral area daw ay P H, perimeter of the base. Alamin natin ang perimeter. Ang sukat nito ay 2 cm, 2 this is another 2, this is 1, this is 1. Ang perimeter, aadin nyo lang lahat yan. 2 plus 2 is 4, plus 1 is 5, plus 1 is 6. So, the uh, lateral area of this, or the perimeter, again, the perimeter of this base is 6 centimeters. Eh, ang lateral area niya ay... No? Ang lateral area ay P times H. P perimeter is 6 times H or height. 6 times height, 4 is equal to 24. O, balikan na natin. No? Ito na. Lateral area is equal to perimeter. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. O, bali, 6 centimeters ang ating perimeter ng base. Ngayon, times height. Ang height niya ay no, ang height niya ay 4 cm. Therefore, the lateral area is equal to 6 times 4, 24 cm times cm is equal to square centimeters. O pwede ng square centimeter. Therefore, the lateral area is 24 square centimeter. Ngayon, ang hinahanap natin ay surface area. Surface area no, is equal to LA. Ang LA natin ay 24 square centimeter plus 2. O ano yung base natin? 
balikan natin. No? Ang base natin ay 2 and 1. The area is 2 times 1 is 2 square centimeter. That is the area of the base of this rectangular prism. 2 times 1, 2 square centimeters. O ngayon, balikan natin ito. Ang B natin ay 2 times 2 square centimeters. O ngayon, meron na tayong surface area is equal to 24 square centimeters plus 2 times 2 is 4 square centimeters. Surface area now is equal to 24 plus 4 is 28 square centimeters. O, di ba tama? 28 square centimeters. Ganun din yung nakuha natin kanina nung binilang natin. Balikan natin, ano? O, here is the uh, model of our rectangular prism. Yung pambalot na kailangang bilhin natin para dito, no? Sa gift na ibibigay nyo, Kanina ang nakuha natin ay 28 square centimeters. O hindi ba tama? Surface area is equal to 28 square centimeters. Therefore, this is the formula in finding the surface area of a rectangular prism. Bago niyo gamitin ito, alamin niyo muna ang lateral area ng perimeter ng base times height. O pagkatapos nakuha niyo na plus nyo sa 2B where B stands for base ayan siguro ang maliwanag na how to find or how to visualize a rectangular prism and how to find the surface area muli po maraming maraming salamat thanks for watching bye bye